What you are looking at is an MQ-1B Predator drone. Other than a few parts, these aircraft are shipped in one relatively small box, or casket. If you find this a bit shocking, you're not alone. It's pretty cool seeing it come in a casket. It's kind of small, so it's kind of shocking, like, whoa, this whole aircraft fits in there. And then taking it out, putting it together to become this, and then to actually see it take off, like, that was once inside that little thing. It's pretty cool. Airmen of the 324th Expeditionary Reconnaissance Squadron in Siganella are responsible for assembling these planes when they arrive. Senior Airman Orlando Mundo describes the process. We hoist it and we put it on stands that hold it up by the fuselage. And then we manually extend each landing gear so they're fully extended. And then we'll put the plane on the ground. And then from there we'll put on the wings, the tails. Uh, and once everything is all on, like the lower cowl, the prop, everything, and it's all buttoned up, uh, we'll start doing ops checks. Although there may be some controversy about the use of drones, Mundo has personally witnessed how beneficial these aircraft are to our troops and the mission. When I was in Kandahar, I got to see firsthand what the uh, MQ-9s did and how they, uh, how they supported the, the fight and they looked over the troops on the ground and, and they really help and they make an impact. The MQ-1 Predator and the MQ-9 Reaper are remotely piloted aircraft, or RPA, controlled by ground pilots with the Air Force's 62nd Expeditionary Reconnaissance Squadron. The ERS flies them to conduct intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, or ISR missions in the area. We take off once we're airborne. Our, our two primary things that we do is we set up the comm link between here and, and back in the U.S. The Reaper and other aircraft like it allows forces to observe while staying out of harm's way. We can do strategic ISR, looking for the, the big fish out there. We can do the tactical ISR, you know, watching, uh, either watching our forces. Uh, if they're on a mission, we can provide overwatch or just, you know, in the local area, providing base defense. Whatever we can do where you need eyes in the sky. Some weapons were discovered uh, try to get off by Charlie using one, RPA during today's operation. So far the squadron's found two rockets. Uh, we blew up one of them ourselves with a Hellfire off an MQ-1, and we got some of the other forces around here to, to take out the other one. So, you know, anything that we can do, that's what we're doing to help. These unmanned planes will continue to operate and be used to help coalition forces to locate insurgents.